Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your um, first half of your December from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, outcome, advice, apply this to your own situation, switch the roles if you want. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to uh, book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So, what messages do you have for Cancer in love and the person that they are connecting with? For the first half of their December from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. For Cancer. So we have a Nine of Wands here and the Lovers, Gemini energy. Okay. Somebody here is tired of a connection. Yeah. Somebody is tired, just overwhelmed, sick of it here. Okay. Yeah. Sick of somebody here walking away. Sick of somebody here just putting all the effort in and, the, and then another person is not, okay? So with the Eight of Cups here and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo, it seems like somebody here does not have what it takes to continue to maintain this relationship, you know, and it just feels like somebody here keeps walking away. And you could be in this energy of getting sick of it here, okay? With the Nine of Cups here and also the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It does seem like whoever this is, you're dealing with an individual here who's incredibly selfish here that's only looking out for themselves. Seems like this person does t care about you, but I feel like this person has a tendency to walk away uh, when maybe things get hard or that, you know, this person could be fear and commitment here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's trying to block prosperity and happiness here with you, Cancer. Yeah, whoever this is, you know, I feel like well, it seems like this person has a tendency to sort of like throw a hand grenade and just walk away and like pretend like nothing happened. Okay, the magician here. Oh, wow. This is an individual here that's very manipulative. This person lies. This person makes a lot of false promises and they feel like you're getting tired of it. And I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're realizing that you'd rather be single and alone than actually have to deal with this BS here. The lovers and the six of swords. Yeah, there's a lack of forward movement in this relationship and in this connection here, okay? Uh, you're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling stuck. You're, you're feeling like this, this situation is too gamey here. So, you know, I just feel like cancer in this situation here, I just feel like you're completely over this. Yeah, completely over this here. What else do we have for, for cancer? Tell me about cancer. Tell me if the person that cancer is dealing with, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards cancer? Okay. We have the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Okay. Oh, yeah, this person's like dealing with another option here. You're about to get the shock of your life here, I feel, too. Perhaps you didn't realize, maybe you have a, you had an inkling that there's someone else in the picture, but I feel like you didn't know who it was. Here's the thing. I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, your person is dealing with here, this person is dealing with, like, with a friend of yours. Yeah. Hangman and the world. It seems like this person moved towards a third party here. And I feel like for some of you guys, this third party is actually like a friend of yours. And, you know, I feel like this person has really no intentions of coming back around. This person's dealing with quite a few people here. Yeah, three of wands and the six of pentacles. This person might be somebody here who's really rich and they're able to get people 
or pull people in or draw people in from their wealth. Yeah. King of Wands here. with the King to Queen of Wands? Interesting. I feel like with that Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy here, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Hermit and the High Priestess, the Hangman, and also with a Page of Swords, and the World card, and the Wheel of Fortune. This person does have a pattern of doing this here. Yeah. This person has a pattern of promising you love, commitment, marriage, and then they're walking away doing other people here. It seems like whoever this is, you know, I feel like this is an individual here that might get bored very easily here, okay? Or that this person just can't help themselves but to do this. You know, a misunderstanding is something that, you know, is small, happens once, you know, you resolve it, you're done with it, it never happens again. But if it keeps happening over and over and over and over and over again, it's a pattern. Yeah, it's a pattern with this individual here, and they feel like you're noticing a pattern. So what else do we have for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation? What is the outcome here for Cancer? Okay, Tool Cups. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. <sighs> Knight of Wands. Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. Strength card, Leo Energy. And the Four Swords. What is the outcome here? <sighs> Let's see. It does seem like this person's coming back around to offer you commitment here. I do see that this person's coming back to apologize. Here is the thing. Um, I really don't feel like things will get better because what this person has already pulled, okay? You're going to constantly worry that this person is talking to other people, dating other people, doing other people here. And it's just not really a healthy situation to be in. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? And the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's going to continue to juggle you with other people. The Knight of Wands here. And also the Queen of Pentacles. So, with the King to Queen of Pentacles, we have the King to Queen of Wands here. This is really interesting because I feel like this person is already in another relationship here. Okay, and then there's you, and then there's somebody else that they're dealing with outside of the relationship. They're not in a healthy relationship because I feel like your person is cheating on their person, their person is cheating on them. Strength. And the Five of Pentacles. Four Swords. And the Empress here. Yeah, I just feel like you're realizing that you guys are too good for this. You guys are reclaiming your power here. You guys are stepping away from the situation. You guys are manifesting here. You guys are attracting good things here. You guys are focusing on your healing. So, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like as soon as you find out, you know, what is going on, I feel like you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna think twice but to walk away from this here because you have morals, values, integrity, and dignity here, okay? What else do we have here for Cancer? Three of Cups. Yeah, it seems like someone here is <sighs> revealing what they've been hiding, revealing what they've been doing here. Um, I do feel like this person has been lying to you, but you know, with the Three of Cups here and the Chariot, you're leaving the situation behind, and yeah, you're moving forward here, and I feel like you're Blocking the situation, blocking this person here. Two of Wands and the Three of Swords. This is like a full fledged third, fourth party situation. It seems like whoever this is, this person's dealing with a lot of people here. Yeah, you're just tired of the in and out. Like, I just feel like, you know, it could be a situation that somebody here is completely exposed here. You know, somebody here feels exposed, okay? Uh, perhaps, you know, they, they tried everything that they can to conceal it and hide it. But, you know, obviously, 
nothing stay, stays hidden for a long time. It always has a way of coming up to the surface, right? So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.